Hi, I'm Sarah Natachini. I'm the voice of Ash Ketchum on Pokemon, and I'm here at Kawaii Con to do an appearance all weekend. And PBS has challenged me to create voices for characters I've never seen before. Ooh, but wait, before we start, PBS has just handed me some poke, so I'm gonna eat it. It's salmon, mm, my favorite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. Oh, that's really good. Sorry for the fork, I'm so sorry for the fork. Mm, mm-hmm. All right, now that I've eaten my poke, I would like to introduce you to some characters that I'm creating out of absolutely nothing that are based on animals in Hawaii. This one is, is, a, is a mongoose. She is a queen. She's a queen with a little cup of tea, and she's sitting on her throne Mm, what a wonderful cup of tea. Oh, hello. How are you, my minions, my beautiful babies? It's a wonderful day here in Hawaii, isn't it? Yes. So that's your, that's basically your mongoose. Oh boy. Oh, another turtle. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, just, just sitting here. Fishing for some, fishing for some trout. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. You know, I like to come here by myself. I don't, I don't really like to have too much company. Uh, it's, uh, it can be kind of lonely, a little hot in my little turtle shell here because you can't take it off. You just, that's the thing about turtles, you just can't take off that shell, so. Uh... Oh boy. I feel like you're trying to trick me into doing the ash voice with this one, the gecko. Mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, I'm gonna make this kid Really young, really cool. Hi, my name is Salamander Man, and I'm the coolest guy you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, you know, I like my skateboard. I'm actually really bad at it. Uh, I look like I might be good at it, but that's me falling off a skateboard fully, <laughs> fully just falling off. <laughs> um, you know, I, uh, I am good at math. That's my only real talent, and uh, I'm gonna be a scientist when I grow up. Doesn't look like I might be, but I am. Oh, this one is wise. This one's a monk seal. Yes, I'm sensing a, I'm sensing love in your life. I'm sensing, um, sensing that you're gonna fall in love in Hawaii. I'm sensing, uh, I'm sensing a lot of friendship. I'm sensing, um, I'm sensing you spending a lot of money on knickknacks that you're never gonna look at. You're gonna come back here and you're gonna get married here, and uh, you're not gonna regret that. Mm. What we got here now, we have two cats. <laughs> this, okay, so the mom is really annoyed. Just uh, can't stand her kid asking for things nonstop, all the time. Every time we go out, this kid wants something. I have spent so much money on this child today. I'm gonna have to get another, another job. Come on, mom. Oh, please, I'm, star I'm starving. I'm literally starving. You never feed me. How about this, Mom? I'll make you a deal. I'll go to school if you let me eat first. <laughs> the job of voice acting is to have a great imagination and to take what's on the page and bring it to life believably. So you're not always seeing animation on screen unless it's already animated and then you're dubbing and then you kind of know what's going on. Um, if it's original animation, there's no animation already done. So you have to build the world inside your head based on what's written and based on what the director is telling you. It's a complex and um, mentally demanding job. In terms of the voices, I'm very, very critical of myself. So I think that was like a solid maybe four out of 10. But uh, it is very early and I did have three hours of sleep. So uh, that's gonna have to do for now. The poke is a 10 out of 10. Uh, the crew here is a 10 out of 10. And uh, today's gonna be at a 10 out of 10.